Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Once again, I'm driving, trying to get in where I fit in. Very, very crazy schedule uh, as I try to get my life back on track and things back on track. Uh, another thing, and by the way, I'm Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Um, people are talking about, like, uh, and I think these were genuine questions. Why did I hold on to some of my puppies longer than eight weeks and why do I seem to be turning more people down from my puppies? This is this is it. First of all, certain litters, and you're going to see me do this more and more, and it's a more traditional way to do it. It's just not traditional in the American bully sense. I would like to have more puppies that I keep at least 16 weeks. One of the reasons is this. Everybody sells you a dog, right? And you see these ads, and they tell you, oh, I think this dog is going to be great. He's going to be this. And How many great dogs do you see? You know what I mean? How many good looking dogs you see? I'll keep on showing you the dogs that I sell people and how they progress and this and that and the other. And I, we bat about 90%. I can show you a lot of these dogs and how they've continued to mature, how they've gotten better. And the ones that I don't put out there um, as show quality dogs, generally I've made a decision that maybe this is not a show quality. Maybe we give it to the mailman. Maybe we give it to the GPS guy or, you know, the, the got people who aren't looking to breed but come by the house or the other spot and they like, yo, uh, I like those dogs. Is it, is, you got anything? Yeah, go ahead. You can take this one. You know what I mean? They're not looking for paperwork or anything. But um, the, the, a lot of people and in a lot of breeds, they do evaluations up to 16 weeks. Um, especially me with this mini litter, I wanted to hold on to them and it, it was my first double Mandela litter. So initially I sold a couple of them. Then as you notice, I didn't advertise for a long time. I didn't care too. That reason is, is because I wanted to watch because I had not exactly done these blood combinations before, even considering that it, the double Mandela is my own blood. I hadn't seen it. You know, I don't typically, I didn't typically know like exactly how it would mature, what's the maturation rate and what I was to expect out of it. So with all that being said, you know what I mean? It was a great thing to be able to hold the dogs down, to watch them, to watch their structure, to watch how they um, reacted to different food schedules, to see how their confirmation would go to, you know, all, all of the different things that you will see that are a lot more extensive than the eight week process. So, you know, some of my dogs, you'll notice that I'll hold them up to six months. And uh, I know for some people, they're like, hey, man, I would like to get mine when it's a tiny little puppy. And I understand that, but you have to ask yourself, what are you getting uh, when you, and it depends. I'm not just talking about me, for, but from other breeders. I do believe that at some point, some breeders should hold on to dogs that they have question marks a little longer and see their mat maturation rate instead of telling somebody this is a show dog and it's going to be a show dog and you're super confident that it's going to be a show dog then it falls apart on the person they've already integrated this dog into their family they've already started putting work into it as a show dog and it's not a good feeling when this when that happens you know i've had it happen myself you know where I, a dog that i was really really high on excellent excellent structure had growth problems so as he grew he had a couple problems with his joints and different things like that and of course, he's not a show dog. And, and the homie who got him was putting in work with him. And it happens. It's just you got to get that person another dog, but you can't take back the time that they spent. And it's, uh, even though it's not intentional, it's something that you would like to avoid. So I'm not saying that every single um, litter I'll be doing that on, but I'll be doing it on more litters, you know what I mean, to get a better look at it and evaluate. As I told many of you before, this is like a science to me. It's something that I take very seriously and I would prefer not to F it up. You know, um, as I get more and more serious and back into this thing and getting facilities built and all of this different shit, I, you know, we have to go to the science of it. We want to put out good quality to uh, help people not only have great pets, but those who are breeding to have high quality animals and not just do a bunch of guesswork. It never guarantees that you are going to be uh, 100%, but if you take your time to evaluate your stock, evaluate everything that you're doing to try to be better, 
you're gonna have a higher percentage. Uh, I'm not a puppy mill. I don't care to just keep on putting out a bunch of dogs, putting out a bunch of dogs. That's why sometimes y'all see people who wanna argue, hey man, go, let's, what about production? What about productions? And these guys are having a litter like every two weeks. And at the same time, those kennels that are doing high production uh, numbers, you ask them to come back to you in a year and show you those productions. And they only wanna show you one or two of the dogs uh, out of the 100, 50 dogs that they produced last year is because they haven't developed a recipe for success to where you can just do three four breedings and come up with you know a dozen championship quality dogs because of your consistency knowing your genes and your capability to breed the dogs appropriately it's just a process man but uh i i i have heard more and more breeders talk about this i've seen more and more breeders do this to where they're holding on to them a little longer in some cases just wanting to watch them grow i've seen some guys who've been keeping their whole litters and deciding later on what puppy they wanted to keep and, I, and really it's a good thing you know what i mean um well, I'll talk more about that in the next video, but it's not about sales to everyone. Sometimes it's about the process, about making a good dog, and about doing the right things. You know what I mean? So until next time, y'all, God bless y'all. Much love. Peace.